how's it going out there all right so if you're watching this video it means you were um, watching the previous video from your computer and so um, we're gonna move on with how to download um, Instagram on your Kindle Fire HD and so basically at the bottom of the YouTube video in the notes section I have a link and that link is if you click on it it's gonna take you to this website which is sugarsync.com and I actually have the file that you need to download onto your Kindle right here now before you download it, I always just claim that this is fully safe. I'd never put anything that wasn't safe or had a virus or whatever on here. I'm reputable and I believe in doing the right thing. So uh, basically click on that link. It's going to take you to this website, SugarSync. Click on download. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask you at the pretty much at the bottom here or sometime at the top, something will pop up and it'll ask you, do you want to open or save this file? We want to save it, okay? And right next to save, there's a little arrow. Click on the little black arrow and click save as. And now it's going to ask, where do you want to save it? Well, click on desktop in the corner right here and then just hit save, okay? And that's going to download. Now what we're going to do is open up another tab here. And we want to go to our uh, email website. So whatever website you use for your emails, go to that website. Okay. Um, mine is Gmail. So I'm going to go to gmail.com. And you're going to sign it. Because what we're going to do right now, you're going to actually email the file to yourself. Okay. So we're going to go to Compose or however you do to uh, write an email or set up an email and uh, click Attach a File. Or or you should be a little paper clip. Whatever you do to attach pictures or whatever, you're going to click on that. And now this box pops up and it's asking us to find the file. So remember, we're just going to go to the desktop because that's where we saved it. And go down to where you see... Uh, aptoide.apk click on it and press open and what it's going to do is attach it to the email so while that's attaching in the two box put your email because we want to email the file just to ourselves. because pretty much what we're going to do is email the file to ourselves, and then you're going to go to your Kindle Fire HD and you're going to open up that email on the Kindle and then we'll be able to download it really easy okay so uh, put in your email and in the subject put Instagram app okay and now we're gonna hit send and now it's gonna send the file to ourself and now I'm gonna switch back over to the Kindle alright so now we're here on our uh, Kindle Fire HD what you want to do is go to apps make sure you're connected with the internet and tap on email and so now I'm in my inbox here and I'm gonna tap on inbox and here's the email I just sent myself Instagram app and the little paper clip tells you that it was attached to it so tap on that email and here's the file we're gonna go ahead and tap on the little piece of paper and it's gonna start downloading okay once it's finished you'll see a check on the picture go ahead and tap on it again and it's gonna ask you do you want to install what we're doing is we're actually downloading another app store onto the Kindle Fire HD and in this app store is the Instagram app so that's why it says this and not Instagram okay go ahead and click on install okay and it install pretty quick and now go ahead and press open and it's gonna tell you your own app market blah 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 we'll give it a second and that's going to ask you, you don't have any added app store, it's just ours. Um, you can hit yes or no. no well, yeah, yeah, go ahead and press yes. It's like yes or no. Yay, nay. Hit continue. It asks it to do an update, but we're not going to do it right now. Hit no. And you can also get Pinterest too. A little, little FYI right there too. Scroll all the way down, and you're going to see. Oh, I messed it up. You're going to see Instagram at the bottom right here. Go ahead and tap on Instagram. And tap on Install. And now if you pull down the menu here, you can see that Instagram is downloading onto your Kindle Fire HD. So we'll go ahead and um, let this download. This can take anywhere from um, 30 seconds to about 3-4 minutes, depending on how fast your internet connection is. Uh, I'm using Time Warner, so Time Warner is usually pretty quick. Um, however, AT&T tends to be a little bit slower, so um, may want to go to the bathroom, but go grab a drink, send a text message, check your emails, um, go do something real fast, and uh, come back when this part finishes downloading. And then we're literally about over 50% of the way. We're just about done here, so um, 
this patience on the last part here. All right, we're just about to the end here. Just about done. And uh, just doing this last little bit of downloading now. Uh, every time I do it, it, it tends to get stuck right around here at the end. So if it, if it counts to about 20 and it's still stuck right here, just go ahead and tap on the little arrow. And it should take you right here to where you would install. And go ahead and press install. Just that simple, right? Okay, and then hit open. And here it is. You officially have Instagram on your Kindle Fire HD. We're going to go ahead and log in here. And I'm going to put in my login information. H2 tech videos. For the password, I'm going to cover up the lens here. OK. 
just for a quick second. Okay, now we're logging in. And here it is. The Instagram app is now on your Kindle Fire HD, the official Instagram app, okay? So um, you can follow people, look for people, do the likes, change your profile, all that good stuff, okay? You can even use the camera. So you can pull up the camera, you can take pictures, you can pull from pictures that you've taken from your library as well. And it has full functionality, it has the filters, it has the option to upload to Facebook and Tumblr and Twitter and all that. So this is it. You're going to be totally set with this app, okay? And again, at some point, Instagram will release their official app on the Kindle Fire HD. But until then, you'll be ahead of the game. You'll be amongst the select few as long as you watch this video that will have Instagram on your Kindle Fire HD. All right? The very last step of this video, go ahead and pull down the menu here. Go to More. And we want to go to device and we want to uncheck this box now. Allow installation of uh, applications from unknown sources because we've downloaded what we need. You only want to have this check when you're downloading something that's not in the app store. So once you finish, turn it back off just to keep your Kindle Fire secure. And we're done, guys. I hope this was helpful. Go ahead and like the video if it was. Subscribe to H2 Tech Videos. Keep watching and have a good one.